Here we go. You ready, chat? This is the biggest moment of our poker career. You're witnessing it live right now. Are you ready? Good luck. Welcome to the stream today. Holy smokes, we got an amazing day. I mean, a lot of you will know we are on to day two of the $5,300 buy-in at Millions Online main event. We have made day two in a 5K. We are in the money of the tournament. So we are starting up today with $10,695 cashed. First place in the tournament is a remarkable 892K. All right, who do we got? Kenny Hallert and Peter Jetton uh, on the table. We have a lot of short stacks around us, which is quite interesting, actually. Nine deuce is going to be fooled here to Peter Jetton. So we know Peter Jetton, right? Legendary player. Let's look it up here. 9.3 in total live earnings. Legend. Used to have a podcast. Good stuff, man. There we go. 48 of 155 now. A little pay jump at 152. It's like uh, 250 bucks or something. Um, yo, Cole Kicker. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Get some love in the chat, you guys, for Cole Kicker. Jacks against Kings here. Daniel Smith in the lead. Jonathan needs help, dude, and is covered. That's it for Jonathan GG, man. GG, unlucky in front of the stream. Jonathan, uh, Daniel Smith takes it down 6 million chips as we fold the 9-3 offsuit here. Tall Stew dropping the two-month resub. Thanks so much, man. Welcome back to the team. Hearts out in chat. Oh, uh, here we go, chat. Here's a hand. The 10-10. Okay, we like this. Against these four short stacks, we're just interested in being all in preflop. Against Daniel Smith's rays... Probably want to three bet some, but like not too often. I think I'd mostly just call against a raise here. It's really sick if it goes raise and one of these stacks jam. Then it's really, really nasty. I do not want to see that. Good. They fold. Sergi. Oh, uh, yeah. Sick. Sick. Uh, I think we're on the line as well. Uh, my inclination is to call and then fold to a regen. Um, but tens is quite strong here for 15 blinds. So I think I call and then fold to an all-in from Daniel Smith or Peter Jetton. So let's do that. Hold it. For a lot of chips, chat, hold it. No. Come on, let's go. Huge pot coming away. We're over 10 million. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to raise it up here with Ace Jack to 300,000. Thank you, man. You guys are popping off. 103 subs today. This is insane. Thank you. What's up, Duke Van 1985? Thanks for the good luck shout out, man. Appreciate it. All right, there we go. Pocket nines. Another great hand. Against M. Gassier. We love in our hands. Against Kenny Hallert, we're loving our hand. Against Alexi, we're loving our hands. Against Simon B, we're loving our hand as well. But we see a really interesting limp under the gun from M. Gassier. And Daniel limps along. So it's kind of interesting, right? Because if we if we raise this up to four and a half blinds and M. Gassier calls, we're going to end up out of position quite deep with a really difficult hand to play three ways out of position. Checking back is an option. I mean, raising and calling a shove is fine, but against that range, we're like probably 45% against their limp shove range, I would guess. Something like that. All right, Alexi, what the heck am I supposed to do now, man? What do you want me to do now? What am I supposed to do now, man? This is, oh, this is painful. I mean, can we call? Is calling an option here against Alexi? I think I'm going to call. And then, like, call an all-in against one opponent, probably, maybe. I don't know. I think I, I think call is the best move. I mean, the problem is we have to sweat a limp jam here. Right? How about a set of nines, then? Oh, my God, it's a set of nines. How about someone has a set of sevens? Let's do that. If we're going to be greedy, we'll be greedy. Let's go, man. Come on, chat. This is a moment. Top set. Alexi, bet your aces. Don't have anything other than aces here, man. And shove them. Bet your hand, Alexi. Bet it. Uh, we just call. Induce Daniel to come along, shove over the top with flush draws, whatever. We just call. Set of sevens, set of jacks.
what are we supposed to do here, man? I'm gonna half raise, half uh, limp here. We're gonna raise. Oh, okay. Back in the zone. Raise, take it. I mean, it's really sick. They are ahead pre-flop, right? So it's a matter of perspective that hands. You know, <laughs> like it is nasty. It's it's insane. It's gross. I mean, that's 7.4 million. That would put us on 15, 16 million. Put us top 15. You know, 7 million chips is worth a lot of money at this point. It's like a lot of money. But at the same time, you can look at it pre-flop. It's like, hey, man, when the flop comes, uh, I don't know, <laughs> deuce, deuce, deuce. Are you going to get away from your hand? Like, I don't know, probably not. Right? Uh, and we lose. Uh, so we got lucky to hit that flop. I mean, it is so sick set over set, right? Nines against sevens. It was just the dream situation. Threes here. I like it. We're going to raise this up. All right, cool. Let's raise it. 294. Action on Peter Jett in the small blind. 28 million chips in third place in the tournament right now. He's going to three bet to 1.2 million, uh, which is big. It's 4x. Um, ugh. It's a little bit awkward. We are defending most pairs here. This is one of the worst we're going to have, and it is quite a large size as well. I am going to fold. <sighs> Poker gods. Now. Now is the time. Now is the time. For me. Now is the time for me. I raise. Thank you, Artem. Kenny. Rip it in there, Kenny. Check. Our hand is not super vulnerable. We block a lot of the straight draws as well. I was planning for a check raise, but it goes check, check. Turn is a nine. We'll bet. Good card for the range. Jack 10 just hit. King nine and queen nine suited. Both just hit. Artem raises to 1.5 million. I'm worried here, but I think we have to call on the turn. Sick. Six spot. So, Jack 10. And I think there's 16 combos of Jack-10 here, probably. King-9 suited and Queen-9 suited and pocket-9s. Those are the hands we lose to. But we do under hand quite a lot here, right? We check on the flop. We bet half pot on the turn. They've got to be thinking, like, do we do that often with King-X, you know, with strong hands? So it's kind of annoying, but we're getting 2-1 to one odds here uh, with aces. And so I think we have to call down here. Yeah, I think we have to call down. Two point five million. That's nasty. Okay, we got a battle back. Two point five million. We're one eighteen to one thirty two. A six here. We get a raise from Daniel Smith uh, on fifteen blinds. Close here against the hijack as well. I am going to peel. Let's see a flop. Here comes the check raise. Four five six. We should actually lead here. We should lead. We're not going to be folding our hand at this point, but this is a much better board for us than Daniel. They're going to check back quite a bit. So we want to protect our equity. When they have over pairs, we're going to have to gamble with 900,000 in the middle. So this puts 1.8 million in on the turn. I like this 480. Okay, run it. Come on, let's go. Big pot our way, chat. 5.3 million. We're back. Whew. Hijack with sixes, 32 blinds against Kenny. Oof. This is tight, dude. It is probably a jam. I know 30 big blinds against the button. We are just all in here. 32 against the hijack. It's closer, but sixes aren't deuces either. I'm going to go for the shove. Good luck. Sweet. Six million. Let's go, let's go. Queen Jack offsuit in the big blind, nice. This is a hand we definitely want to take to a flop. Even three ways. We will call. 
Let's go to a flop. Interesting flop, right? King nine six. We have the queen of spades. So we have a second up flush draw. We have a gut shot to the nuts. Let's see. Small bet from Artem. We just call and continue to a turn. The only way we fold here is if Alexi raises, really. If they call, it's fine to call here as well. Getting a great price. So we'll do that. And how about just a 10 of hearts on the turn is perfect. Offsuit queen. Okay. Yo, Bookie, thank you so much for the seven-month resub. Gets the love of the tag. Going to play New Valorant Season Mate? I will be. Yes. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, thanks for the seven-month resub, man. So checks around to Alexi, and we're in a little bit of a difficult spot, right? Especially being three ways. Heads up, it's a lot simpler. We just continue here. Three ways, we're stuck in between these two. We have the second nut draw and second pair. Uh, and of course, we have to worry about someone actually having the nut flush here, which is possible. Ace high, ace high spades is possible. Uh, so a bit of 880. I think the plan is to call again here, getting about four to one. But it's on the edge. If we didn't have the queen of spades, we're definitely folding, you know? We have a flush. Huh. I thought about leading there. We could lead and fold to a raise, but we'll just check and we take it down. That's good, man. We have 8 million chips. We're back to where we started the day. What did Alexi have? We could go for a small lead here. Like we could bet 1.3 million and if they shove, we can be pretty confident that they have the nut flush. But, you know, we win 8 million. Folds around to us. Ace nine here on the button. We're going to raise it up. We will call Christian if they go for the shove, but they fold. And now action on Artem via. Three bits to 1.3 million. We are going to continue here. We know that Artem is going to be pretty aggressive. We have a decent hand here. Even though it's ace nine offsuit, we call and take a flop. That's a pretty good flop. I think. Now, of course, they can have ace king, ace queen, ace jack. Um, ace ten. Those are all possible. Pocket four is ace four. But think about all the other things that have missed. I think it's a pretty easy call here. And just love our life full time. Dutch Cloud uh, dropping the biz. Thank you very much, Dutch Cloud, for the 16 men. Appreciate that. I'm going to go for a check. We're going to go for a small bet here. 1.4 million, I think sounds good to me. They're going to take out like ace king, ace queen, ace jack out of our range probably when we just flat pre. But they fold 9.6 million chat. We're back above starting stack. We're back above starting stack, dude. We were on 2 million. We got our chips back, man. Preferably with ace king, we get a bit of action here. We're going to raise it up to 420. Now it gets interesting against Artem and Peter Jetton. Do we want a four bet shove? Do we want a four bet less than all in? What do we want to do? But at this point, we're just like... Get the money in. Christian Notra's all in. 2.8 million. We call. Good luck, chat. Against nines. Nines. Not today, nines. Come on, ace on the flop. Hold it. No diamond. No diamond. No nine. Come on, chat. It's a big flip, chat. Six million coming our way. We're up to 12.8 million. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go, chat. We're climbing the ladder. Hell yeah, I'm interested. We raise, call a three bet, call a three bet, call a three bet, call a jam, call a jam, call a three bet. That's the preflop plan here. Dimitri, if we must gamble, we must gamble. Come on, chat with ace queen. It's a big hand, big moment. Come on, chat. Against nines, again against nines. Up top, Dottie. Oh, it's an ace. Hold it. Oh, no. I hate nines. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. They're the worst hand. I hate nines. They're terrible. They're the worst. Oh, ace eight suited. A little ace eight suity coming in here. I like it. I'm going to raise. Alexi, don't ruin this for us, please. Do not ruin this. So we mostly want to call some three bet here. I'm still. I'm actually going to three bet a little bit more given the lineup behind. So we are going to three bet this time. I think it's our first three bet as well. 1.2 million. Obviously, we're not going to call a four bet or get it all in preflop, but. Are we human? Oh my God, what a flop. What a flop, chat. What a flop. Okay, it's interesting the sizing. Uh, what do we want to do with the range here? We don't want to go huge, actually. I think we want to go about a million. 1.1 is fine. Which leaves a bit of an awkward turn. 
Oh, no, we're okay, actually. Never mind. On the turn, there'll be 5 million in the middle. They'll have 4.8. We can just shove, unless it's like, I don't know, jack of spades. Something like that. We take it. Chat, are we humans? Or are we printers? 10.6 million nines. We hate this hand. This hand messes with us all the time, but we will play it because math exists. Okay? <laughs> We're not going to meme our way to folding really good hands. Let's call in the big blind against Peter Jett and go to a flop here. Interesting we see a pure min raise, by the way, from Peter Jetton, as opposed to, like, 2.3, which we'd seen more recently. So I wonder why. At a 300,000, we call. Let's see a turn. So queen. Okay. Relative brick. I mean, they could have hit queens, right? Peter Jetton is going to have some queens. They're going to see better a lot of queens. Uh, you know, queen jack and queen 10 and queen 9. Queen... They don't have queen six suited. King, queen, ace, queen. All of that is going to go for a C bet here. But in general, we like our nines. River comes a king as well. I think we should check and probably call a bet on the river. I mean, these are good cards for their range, but we're really high up in our range as well. Especially when we check river, we have a bluff catcher. I think we should call. And they have pots. Yeah, I think we should call here. Just because, like, our hand is really disguised. Uh, so, yeah, we call down. King Jack. Too bad. Uh, Subhype H. Javez with the four-month resub. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Uh, we want to play here half-half. We're going to three bets. Against Daniel Smith. Are we human or are we printers, chat? Oh, my God. We're just flopping the nuts all day. It's insane. We bet, what, 1.3? Oh, wow, we have a lead. We call. I mean, we call. And just no spade on the turn, please. I might cry. No spade. Bricks. Bricks, chat. Just call again. Basically, call and don't fold here. Like, even if the river is a spade, I think we have to call off because they're going to have some bluffs and sets and stuff. In two pairs, which we're probably just going to shove anyways, but I think we should call. They do have some bluffs in the range, so we call. No spade, no pair of the board. We have to call. For all the reasons I described, we have to call. They're going to have some hands that aren't the ace high flush draw here. So we have to call. Oh, Why? Why do we have to do this, man? We call. Come on! 16.6, baby! 16.6! Oh! Are we human? Or are we printers chats? Whoo! Okay, we raise. It's so annoying against uh, against Aki. It's eleven blinds deep actually now. Blinds are up to one thousand three hundred, so it's okay to call a shove against Aki, uh, I think. But if it's one twenty five two fifty, it's really annoying because then it would be thirteen and a half blinds, and we don't like that at all. We raise king ten of clubs, David. Chill out, David. Oh, David, what are you doing, David? Just call on the button, obviously. We call. Go to a flop. Are we human or are we printers chat? Oh my God, this is the second flop flush today. Two. This is a three bet pot. I mean, what do you want from me chat? What do you want from me? Oh my, David. Check, check. Bet on the turn here. We need a bet of sizing realistically that can bluff here, so... I mean, I don't think we can go too small. I just don't think they'll give us credit for bluffing on one third, you know? So we're going to go about half pod here. Of course, we're not bluffing, but I'm, I'm thinking about what sort of size my bluffs want to bet to match my value to it in this spot. Okay, well, we block full houses. It's just, it's the greatest tragedy of our times if they have queens. But we're all in. Okay, I mean, it's a big pot, dude. We're just shy of 20 million. 
What a day, dude. What a day. Oh, woo. Oh, we're just shy of 20 million, dude. We are 15th place in the tournaments. This is amazing. We're going to flip the 6-5. Oh, Ace King, Sudi. Ace King, Sudi. Whoa. Now, against Peter Jetton is the only one I have to think about here, right? Do we want to go for the four bet all in against Peter Jetton? I would say probably not, actually. Against the other three, like, we're all in. We love it, you know? Nexus dropping the 73 months. Let's go, buddy. Six years, one month in the house. Nexus. What's up, Sean? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Hearts out. Here's an all in. Aki. Run it. Up top. Aki. Oh, I can't send the cheers now because we're ahead. Come on. Chat. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Daniel, thanks for the cheers, man. Thank you for the cheers. Back at you, bro. 23.6 million. We are 10 of 82. This is real. This is a real moment. Ace eight. All right. Not a great hand, but it's a fine hand. Daniel Smith goes all in for 13 blinds. It's tight. Alex says if they shove, it's an easy call. Against Simon, we will be playing flops. Alex is all in. Simon calls. I think I want to raise and then fold to a shove here. But I think their range for calling is going to be quite wide, and I'd love to isolate this. So I'm going to make it 3.4 million here. And like I said, full to an all-in from Simon. Cool. We get a heads up. No king or four. Or jack. Let's go, man. Another 6 million. We're on 26 million. We're on 26 million, chat. We're in seventh place, chat. We're in seventh place. Oh, it's a moment of time in the millions online main event. Oh, come on. Ace nine in the big blind. It's good. You know, we can call an all-in from Daniel Smith, who's going to be shoving all sorts of broadways, king, queen, and king, jack, and king, ten, and queen, jack, and queen, ten, and sevens, and sixes, and fives, and ace, five suited, and like all sorts of stuff. Same with Dimitri as well. Uh, here's the all-in. The only way we fold here is if someone else calls. Then, through two people, the likelihood our hand is good is not enough. It's got to be heads up here. But if it goes fold, fold, we call, and I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. All right, let's run it, chat. Good luck. It's King Queen. We're ahead. Good start. Good turn. Come on, let's go. Berry, Berry on the river. We're up to just shy of 30 million, chat. Oh, we're on 29 million, dude. This is insane. This is crazy. We're in sixth place in the tournament. Whoo! Let's go. Thomas Screech, welcome, man. Good luck, Jamie. Take it down. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Mostly I like calling here with Ace Queen. I think it's the right move in this situation. Moonlight Drive, drop the sub. Get some love to the chat, you guys, from Moonlight Drive with the prime sub. Thank you. Great flop here. Queen nine deuce, two diamonds. We flop top pair, top kicker. What I'm thinking about is do we want to raise for value in the flop? I mean, we're losing to very few things here, right? Nines and twos and aces and kings, and that's it, right? Uh, we do like getting protection, but at the stack depth, it's a little worrying as well. You know, a lot of bad turns. So I think we call and then go to a turn. Beautiful. We love it. On the turn now, I think it's really clear. A lot of draws. Top, top. Not folding at this point. We just call and go to a river. Eight. Okay. Jack-10 gets there. I don't think Scott is going to have Queen-9 and Queen-8 suited uh, under the gun. Maybe they do, but probably not. So, mostly worried about Jack-10, Aces, Kings, sets of nine, sets of twos. But we beat the rest, really. So, I like our hands here. Check. Mm. So, check takes Jack-10 out of Scott's range, I think, really clearly. I think we should bet. I don't know what to do against a check raise yet, but I think we should bet. Because I think the likelihood of getting check raised is low. Again, I think if they have Jack-10, I really expect Scott to just continue betting. If they bluffed on the turn and they hit their hand, I think it's pretty unlikely they go for a check raise in the river. I bet and take it. 34 million, chat. 34 million, chat! Come on! Let's go! We're in sixth. We're going to raise up Ace King. We're in sixth place right now. Seventh place. I lied. Not purposely. Check call here against Yuri on the 963. 
Not a ton going on in this board. Neither of us are going to hit it very often, but we don't want to bet here out of position. So I think just check call, see a turn. Yo, all seven fever. Thanks for the three month resub. Welcome back to the team. Hearts out. Turn six. Ooh, check, check. Yuri, come on. Check it here, Yuri. Check your hand, bro. Enough with the bluffs. It's such a bad bluff card. Come on, Yuri. Oh, Yuri, bro. So I think we probably want a half-half here. Why? Well, it's a great re-squeeze hand against Hermogenes, and Zhao is going to squeeze a decent amount as well. So I'd say 50%. Uh, let's say, let's say two-thirds, three bets, and one-third call. Three million. Three million. Money Moss dropping the sub. Thank you, Money Moss. Appreciate you, man. Back on Manfred. And if we have to gamble for it all here, we do. Like, if they four-bet shove, we call. But we just get a call. Queen nine four in the flop, okay. We're gonna go for a small bet. Two and a half million is just fine. Call, okay. Seven of spades in the turn. Not a great spot to turn into a bluff, I don't think. I think we just check check here. Hope to hit an ace or a king, or that we beat like ace jack or ace ten, maybe. Back to our flush draw. And check down. It's a five, it's a tough one. Oh, you just love to see it, chat. Call a three bet against Hermogenes. Four bet against Martin, all in. All in against Jao, Andreas, Francisco. And against Manfred, call a three bets. Primer Gay, Gray dropping five gift to subs. Primer Gray, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Welcome to the team, everyone. Against Martin here, I think they have an ideal stack situation to three bet is light, which is why I like the four bet with 50 blinds deep here. Folds around to Manfred in the big blinds. Two flop. Three, four, nine. Small bet. Small bet. Quite annoying against a check raise, but we do want to defend our equity in this pot. And we raise under the gun. They call in the big blinds. Uh, we just have a stronger range in general. So we go for the small bet. And oof. Very small check raise to 2.5 million. I think we must float for that sizing. If they make it more, I fold, right? I was setting up to fold, but they make it so small, it's just like, I don't think we're going to be able to fold our, our strong ace highs even without a spade. Now, the problem is, of course, like, we don't have a, a flush here. We don't need to bet. We're not bluffing anything, right? It's like, we're beating bluffs and that's it. So we check, check, ace on the river. If they had a deuce, they'd probably bet the turn. It is thin on the river to bet because we're hoping to get called by like 9-8 and our hand looks like ace high at this point. You know, it looks like ace high. So I think I'm going to check back here. Check back. Okay. <laughs> okay. 30 million chips. Good stuff, man. We call Andreas. Smash it. The smash, it's okay. This is like the hype and the nod hype of this hand. It's like, great, we have top pair, good, you know? We got to hit top pair for like really cheap. The bad news is like, hey, we don't have ace-king, ace-queen, ace-jack, ace-10. So what are you going to do, <laughs> you know? Is he going to call it down? Maybe. We call now for sure. King in the turn, we check. That's a good turn, I think. The thing about this turn is they're going to continue barreling with like queen jack, queen 10, jack 10, some clubs, some spades. Uh, they might hit king 5 and king 6 suited here, but in general, this is pretty good. The thing is there's 8 million in the middle now, so I'm really tempted to go for the check jam. We do just like get wrecked when they have ace 5, like when they have good hands here, but we also get to deny some equity as well and not give a free card to all the things that can have equity here. So this is really kind of an ugly spot for us with Ace Deuce, I think. Ace of Clubs, although this doesn't necessarily bet. Always Deuce of Spades. It's quite close here. I think I will go for it. I'm gonna go for the shove. Try and deny equity. Eight million in the middle with eight million back with Ace Deuce. I don't love it, but I think it's necessary. Come on! Oh, that's a sweaty spot, man. It's so sweaty, dude. 37 million. I hate that spot. Come on. Whoo. Zhao is out. Andreas takes it down. Queens. I love queens. Okay. We raise. 
it's actually quite awkward against a lot of these stacks here. 50 blinds, 50 blinds, and covering. 4.4. Well, I think it's just a jam. I mean, by the book, we jam. It's it's tilting to have to risk 51 here into aces and kings and ace king sometimes. But I think it's far better than calling. And four bidding less than all in, by the way, would be like this and would leave like 25 million back. I just don't like it. I think it's all in. So here we go. You ready, chat? This is the biggest moment of our poker career. You're witnessing it live right now. Are you ready? Good luck. And we faded it. Biggest moment of the poker career, success. You were here for it, chat. You were here for it. And fold the six twos. Francisco raises. I'm gonna call on the small blind here. My Apple Watch is thinking that I am exercising. I'm just nervous. <laughs> We're not exercising right now. <laughs> Why do you shove Ace Deuce when you know if you're getting called, you're immediately behind, maybe even dead? Because there was eight million in the pot and only seven and a half million back. So you're right. When we get called, sometimes we're, we're dead or way behind. But the likelihood that we are behind at that moment to capture the 8 million in the middle was not high enough, basically. But it was very close. So that's not a concept that happens in cash games very often, right? You don't often shove with a hand that's only going to get called by better because the stacks are too deep. But in tournament poker, you do do that sometimes. Where if you get called, you're behind. But there's too much money in the middle, you want to capture it. All the times they fold... Make a profit. That was one of the spots, I think. Check, check, check on the flop. Turn is a deuce. A bit of 1.8 million we call here on the deuce. Four in the river. Pretty good spot, actually. I mean, they have some king x and 7x, uh, for sure. But spades miss and hearts miss and the board's dry. and So I think we should call down. We don't block uh, the spades or the hearts. It's, yeah, I think it's just a call. Come on, chat. Oh, my goodness, we have so many chips. How many chips do we have? We have 50 million chips, chat. We have 50, we're in fourth place. We have 50 million chips. We have 50 million. What do you want from me? We have 50 million chips. We're in fourth. We started with 1 million. We have 50 million. It's a 5K buy-in. That's $250,000 of chips. That doesn't mean our stack's worth that much, but still. I mean, if we're going to hype it up, let's hype it up. Raise up a shack. Call from Andreas, 348. Check, check. They will hit this more than we do. They have more 3x and 4x and 8x, right? We don't raise all those hands of the button. Um, we do have a lot of overpairs that they don't have and stuff like that too. But we can continue a lot on the turn with this ace of diamonds. Call here. Yes, chat. Yes. Yes, we've got a great hand. 3.3 .3 million? 3.6 million? 3.9 million? 3.9 million. We just won 14 million. Chat, how many chips do we have? How many chips do we have? Chat, we're in the lead, chat. We're leading the $5,300 buy-in millions online main event. We're in first. Oh, baby, let's go. Okay, 10-7 uh, suited here. We're gonna call on the big blind. Manfred calls, we call. Good, good flop. Okay, top pair, backdoor flush shot. A lot of good things going on here. So we're gonna start with a check call. We don't wanna make a massive pot yet, you know? If we had two pair, sure. If we had a flush, sure. But right now, with one pair, we just wanna chill out. Bet, call, we call as well. Hit me with a nice juicy seven on the turn. Ooh, bad turn, bad turn. Ace in the turn, not good for us. Good for under the gun. Um, under the gun is going to have the most aces here, probably. Although the button has a decent amount of aces too. But they probably fold to a lot of bets, I'd say. So now a bet of 8 million, we fold. We move on. Jack 9 suited, we raise. We just keep on the gas here with our good hands. 
Because sometimes we're going to be card dead. Maybe the last level we're card dead. We don't get to play many hands. Right now we keep getting dealt good hands, so we get to keep raising. But we got a full Andreas is all in here. Queen Jack suited in the big blind. We like this. We'll call a raise with this hand. And Manfred, three bets. We will fold here. You know what makes it weird for me, dude? Okay, first let's play the ace eight because we're going to raise this hand. We're going to raise ace eight. Folds. So we're going to raise ace eight here. 1.5 million. Hermo jeans can ruin this for us again where they flat, someone squeezes, but they fold. They fold. Martin B in the big blind. Okay, queen 10 six. All clubs here. I think we go for a small bet and we can continue against the check raise. Deny equity, basically. It's so nice in position as well, you know? Because we get to take a free card on the turn if we want to, but they check raise, which is okay. I mean, we still have the nut draw, we'll call, but uh, interesting here. <laughs> Makes the turn definitely a call, unless they like overbet or something. But we call the turn and fold the river unless we improve to a club or like an ace or something. But they check on the turn, we'll check as well. Oh, it's amazing. We lose to flushes and King Jack, right? So we lose to a few hands, but like we definitely have a great bluff catcher. They're probably not going to put us on an ace here either. They check, we should bet. Uh, 35 million against the flush. We're going to fold the 8-6. That's a tough one to swallow. I'm going to put us back in 15th. That is a tough one to swallow, man. We're not going to turn up the aggression because we just feel that it's time to turn up the aggression. It's going to be led by just a rational strategy, you know? So if we get, get kept getting dealt hands, we get to play like this one. We're going to keep raising, you know? And we look really aggressive right now, but it's just like we're just picking up big hands, right? And then sometimes we're going to be card dead and, and we're going to look really tight, but it's just not the case. It's just, you know. <clears throat> All right, Ray's going to call. Uh, Ace-King-7 here. We have a gutter to the nut, no spades. I like betting, though. Reason being, uh, no aces, no kings, no ace-king, and this range is going to be quite wide, so we bet 2.4 million here. We do have a gutter to the nut, a queen, right? But we're going to go for a seabed bluff. It gets through Martin, which is amazing. Quick call. Five spades on the turn is the worst. Competes, uh, it completes spades, so it's just like a lot harder to get hands to fold here. I think check, check. No. Oh, great. Okay. We have a straight. If Manfred checks, we bet. If Manfred bets, we call. And hope we don't lose to a flush. It'd be really sad. If we lose to a pot to a flush here, it's possible. Of course, they're going to have some flushes, but they're going to have some other hands too. Kevo Kin dropping the three-month resub. Thank you so much, Kevo Kin. Appreciate the men. Hearts out in the chat, you guys, for the three months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. King seven to clubs. We like this hand. Definitely want to call on the big blind. Makes it 1.4 million. Okay. We call. Let's take it to the streets. Ace, seven, four. Good flop. Second pair. Now, of course, Francisco's going to have some aces, but in general, we're liking our hands. So the plan is to check, call, peep, keep the pot small, and continue to the turn. They bet a million. Okay. We will call. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Okay. Not a great card for us, but in general, I still think our hand is good enough here against Francisco. So we'll call a bet unless it's large. If they go for quite a big bet here... It's unfortunate because they can have some draws, but it's going to force us out. If they go for a reasonable size bet, we will call. But they go for five milli. So we fold. A7 suited, we call. Queen, 6-5 with one spade. So annoying against Martin's bet here. Three to a straight, three to a flush, ace high. But we have a player behind. If it goes bet fold, we can consider calling if it's a small enough sizing. If it's a bet here, though, it's so annoying, you know? Depends on their sizing, you know? Uh, way too big. We have to fold. 
Way too big to call for, for two-thirds there. They call me six. Drop the three-month resub. Welcome back to the team, man. Get some love in the chat for they call me six. All right. We take the small blind here. Ooh, he's five suited. Okay. Next ladder is at 23, my friend. 23. Raised to one and a half. We're going to call here. There he's five suited. And we go to a five, six, seven flop. Hmm. Pretty good flop for Hermogenes. Not very good for Oliver. I mean, they're still going to have some overpairs. They're going to have some straights and stuff like that. We are stuck in the middle here with our pair of fives in that we might have the best hand, but we really have to sweat a lot of good hands. We don't have a lot of great ways to improve. So all that to say, if Oliver goes for bet here, I think I'm just going to fold. It's quite tight, but I think it's fine with a player behind. If we're heads up, we call, we see a turn. Or we fold. I would not be surprised to see Hermogenes put in some action here. But it's just a call. King of clubs in the turn. Hold on the turn. Look at this. Here's an all-in. Juan Carlos, three bets, four bet from Jonathan P. Jonathan Proudfoot. And on our table, 3-6 offsuit is going to be a fold. This may be the last hand of the day. Take a photo. Holy smokes. Play will resume chat. Tomorrow. March 2nd, 2.05 Eastern Time. We are guaranteed right now in 28th position, 27,700. The next pay jump is up to 35K at 23. Final two tables, you know, when we're down to 15, we're going to get 43,000, 54,000 for 11th, and then final table starts at 72K all the way up to 900K. I'm rounding the biggest moment of my poker career live, Poker Staples TV. But until then, we'll see you later. Goodbye.